Ruth, what time is it? It's superhero gadget time. And this one gets messy. Very messy. Go! Kids invent stuff. So it's time to build another superhero gadget. And this time we're bringing to life 10 year old Jasmine's slime firing invention. It's a slime pack that you wear on your back connected to a pair of gauntlets that allow you to fire out slime to fight the bad guys. To bring to life Jasmine's invention, we're going to create a rucksack slime tank with a slime gauge just like her drawing and two gauntlet gloves connected with pipes to a pump or other device we can use to pressurise our slime so it can shoot out of our gloves at the press of a button. So we need to find a way to be able to hold lots of slime and these weed killing backpacks are perfect because these tanks will take 16 litres and already have these straps attached to them so you can wear them. So next what we need to do is work out a way to be able to fire high pressured slime through the pipes and out of our gauntlet. We need to make some slime, and we are not strangers to slime on this channel. We have built some slime inventions before. We built a giant slime firing car, um, and the slime we used for that was edible slime. We're kind of big fans of the biodegradable slime that isn't bad for the environment, but that slime used flour and it had sprinkles and marshmallows in it, and this slime is going to be a bit different. So, for this, we have ordered some guar gum. So, this is a really fine powder that you use as a thickener in cake making and we're going to use that with some green food colouring to make some proper gloopy sloppy slime. Hello, welcome to Slime Cooking with Ruth and Sean! Hello! So when making slime it's very important to have the very suspicious guar gum powder which I don't know, what is a guar? Anyone know what a guar is? The oh, gum, God. where do you get the gum from? Ah. Oh. It says natural food grade guar gum from the guar plant. That clarified that one. Oh, it looks delicious. I mean, Ruth's face says it all. Mmm, delicious slime. Ruth's gagging. <laughs> I dare you. You dare me. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh! <laughs> what it taste like? It doesn't really taste of anything. It tastes a bit kind of slightly planty, I guess, like licking a leaf. Time to make it green. Oh, look at it! Look at it! It's going green. We've got slime. <laughs> slime. So we've made two buckets of thick, gloopy green slime and now we need to do some experiments to work out how we're going to fire it. Now we know from experience that slime is really viscous and thick and can be a little tricky to work with, so we're going to do some experiments. So I've got this little compressed gas gadget that we tried when we built our foam firing camera and it didn't work very well firing foam but we think it could possibly work for firing some slime. It has this pressurised gas canister that's full of CO2 gas and when you open this valve by connecting to a battery, the gas goes whooshing out of this chamber here. So if we put some slime in here, we want to see if that gas will force out the slime super fast out of our gauntlets. And I've got this diaphragm pump, which as you press the handle up and down, it squishes this little balloon here, and hopefully that will fire out some slime. And if this works, this one's a little boring, so we would swap it for an electric version. So it's this versus that with some slime. What could possibly go wrong? How do you test firing slime from a superhero gadget? You need... Thanos! You look so happy. Not for long. Here we have our slime. We are going to start off with our compressed air. The compressed air possible slime firing device. Oh, cover slime, anyone? Three, two, one. You'd have had more effect if you just flicked it out the end. That really didn't work very well. We did get some tiny bits of slime from Thanos, but he's still smiling. Um, I think we need to try Ruth's diaphragm pump. Okay, so we've got some pipe, and this is our inlet for our slime, and this, with a little nozzle, is our outlet. You see it? Oh, Ready, she count down. Three, two, one. Diaphragm pumps for the win. Oh, that works really well. We 
definitely need to get an electrical one. <laughs> Not smiling now, is he? So we've upgraded our manual diaphragm pump for these two automatic electric ones. Now, this is exciting because in this pump, the slime gets pressurized in one place. But in these, each of those gets pressurized in five places, which means they're so much more powerful. Think of all the slime! It looks like a slime jetpack. So we've drilled a hole in the top of our slime tank because we want to put in a mechanical level gauge. Now how this works is we have this little float which will sit on the top of the slime and as the slime goes down, the float will go down, pulling a little pulley inside which will move our little gauge and our gauge tells us if we're empty or full, just like on Jasmine's drawing. Finding this build a little bit stressful, as a child I was absolutely petrified of slime and gunge. You know those TV shows where they used to like gunge adults? That was my worst nightmare. So these are some hand coverings for part of our gauntlet and we need to soak them in water to get rid of the PVA filament, which is helping them keep their shape. Now you might be thinking, why are they part orange? That's a very important reason. We ran out of black. We'll be spraying them black. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Hand coverings for our gauntlet. So this is our electrical box and it will allow us to turn on and off our slime pumps and all of that will be triggered by these wireless switches. Now we've got two of them, just like on Jasmine's drawing, and we're going to insert them into the back of our gauntlet. So we're going to fasten them in and sew them in place. just want our slime to dribble out the end of a pipe so we've got these nice little nozzles that are going to fit on the end of our pipe so we can fire out our slime at high pressure and then we want to be able to aim the direction in which our slime is firing so we've got our gauntlets and we're going to attach the end of our pipe to our gauntlets and it looks just like Jasmine's drawing. We've got our slime gauge, we've got our pumps, we've got our electrical box, and we had a great idea. We decided, why not power it off these batteries? These are the batteries for our cordless power tools, and we've got loads of them, so it'll make it super portable, and we can fire loads of slime. So Jasmine's invention is ready, but you can never have too much slime. A massive thank you to the Institution of Mechanical Engineers for supporting this challenge. We wouldn't be able to do this without them, Go make sure you check out their website. Where there are some amazing hands-on activities for kids. I think it's time to test this thing. Slime time! Deep in the mango forest of Rambutan, in the depths of an ancient mine, the cyber pirate king had found what he'd been searching for. The Fruit Stone! <laughs> Once united with the power pineapple, the stone would give him the ability to control all fruit forever. Meanwhile, Emerald Slime prepared, knowing she must stop the Cyber Pirate King before it's too late.
You won't stop me, Emerald Slime! I should have been a postman. Yes! Thank you, Jasmine, for your amazing invention idea. We love it! No idea what this plot is about, but the pineapple is a big deal, so it's going in the water. And better safe than sorry. And with the Cyber Pirate King's evil plan averted, peace returned once more to the universe. But just to be safe, you should probably still like and subscribe. You can never be too careful. Don't forget to like and subscribe.